Hoffman. Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're going to replay and analyze VoIP traffic with ExtraHop. This is a really solid use case for ExtraHop. We're always been able to analyze VoIP traffic at scale. If it's SIP, RTP, or skinny traffic, we're going to do a replay and analyze that traffic within ExtraHop. So I'm going to walk you through step by step how you can take VoIP traffic and analyze and replay that traffic using ExtraHop. Okay, so let's get started. First and foremost, where are we going to go? We're going to go to VoIP call detail records, and that's typically going to be in your records, which we have 90 days of within XDrop Reveal X360, so it's really powerful. So now I'm in the records, and so where do we go? You're going to go into record type, and there's a bundle you're going to have to load, and it's going to it's called the VoIP bundle. Get with your sales engineer or download it from the forums, but that creates what we call the VoIP call detail record. You can also send me a note. I'll send it to you. So within the VoIP call detail records, we're going to have caller ID from to calling party, all really good information to analyze your VoIP calls within XDROP. Here, I want to actually do and understand and sort this by duration. So I have something to kind of mess around with you guys with. So I'm going to see that there's a call here that I, I tested earlier that, that looks pretty good. So it's this 252 one. So I'm going to go back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to source it on caller ID. So yours might show phone numbers or or just a, um, a large number like this to identify. It's a key value identifier. So then I'm going to do is use that and then go any record type. What that does is it pulls it back and notice how I have RTP and SIP here. SIP is going to be my call signaling. RTP is going to actually be the VoIP media to replay. This is everything I need to analyze the call. You could have searched for phone numbers within your environment, caller ID fields, conference room phones, and then get down to the ones you want. So we're sorting with the next drop off this massive amount of VoIP calls, and then we're sorting down to just the calls that matter. I picked this caller ID. There's someone complained of something having a problem. I want to analyze it and see what's going on. So now I have sip and rtp response now i'm going to query packets for all displayed records that's going to query your trace appliance and so to do this you have to have trace or use your precision pcap to have the packets of record associated with those VoIP transactions and so when you have that you can use another great use case for utilizing continuous pcap or trace so now we have just the VoIP packets we care about someone called in they had a problem it was a garbly call you're trying to work with your call manager people your telephony people and you want to Kind of proof of what's happening and test the waters so now what we do we're going to download that p to download the packets associated with the transactions we just requested here so now i'm going to open up wireshark here so I'll, maybe i'll maximize this out so it's a little easier to see you're going to see some sip and rtp traffic in here wireshark and what we're going to do here is i'm actually going to go up to telephony here and i'm going to look at voip calls within voip calls it's going to show me here's the calls that were made I can play the stream here, but then there's a couple different options I want to show you here. So you can also go into telephony here and you can look at, for instance, let's look at SIP flows. So here's the actual SIP flows moving back and forth for that call from and to fields. From here, what can be interesting is you can look at flow sequence. So this visualizes a lot of the same things we see in XDROP. This is like a waterfall diagram. So essentially, who called? What was the status code? So if you saw a big long one and it was a failure, you can kind of see where that particular problem may be registering status problems. So it allows you to visualize just that SIP traffic. And you can go to either side of it. I could pick a different one here and look at the flow sequence as well. Notify 200 OK. And it said, OK, boom, what's going on? All right. So that's one way you can go in there and do that. OK, so now the other one you can do is you can go in here under telephony and go to RTP and look at RTP streams. This is just the media. So you actually have to have those packets associated with the VoIP media. But when you do and it's just in that extra hop feed, that data feed, we'll be able to see it. So here you can actually go in here and analyze. And this is really cool. You can analyze the packet sequence, the detail and the jitter and see the individual traffic if people are complaining about slowness. And so you say, all right, how many packets? And so you can look at the individual RTP streams. Now I can hit play streams. I can look and see like, all right, let's see what's going on. I can actually play the traffic associated with that request. So I can look at the signaling to see if my SIP provider doing what it needs to be doing. I can look at the actual RTP media and listen to the call if that's, if that's applicable and acceptable within your organization's parameter. And so then I can go and start to use Wireshark to replay and analyze that VoIP. So now I'm able to understand what was happening and understand a replay of those calls associated with the transactions that are relevant. And so you can use error codes or other things in what call, t call, t call detail records and then download the packets associated with it and then analyze the SIP signaling, see if it's signaling correctly, looking at those waterfall diagrams. And then you can look at the RTP stream, then replay the call if necessary to use and understand is this what's happening? What are they complaining about it? Is it truly happening? Is there something wrong with that actual boy? Hope this was helpful, guys. Thanks so much. Appreciate it.